let's talk about this game because uh, Furia came into this as we heard that interview as a team who was an underdog, who most people didn't expect to be able to win this. But coming out of this now, they're a squad who I think do have a chance of being a top three, uh, a chance of being one of those teams that we get in Tokyo for America. I, I agree. They, they certainly do have a chance of being a top three team in this region, but this will put a target on their backs. So, you know, taking out Leviathan like this in this way, on Ascent as the third map, I think a lot of teams are going to be hunting for Fury and they won't sleep on this team if they were going to already. I mean, they looked so, so good here. Yeah, that attack side was, uh, or sorry, rather, the uh, the defense side, the second half was just so, so clean from them. The, the plays that they were making in regards to like how they were kind of pushing down mid on some of the mm -hmm. rounds, yeah. getting aggressive, taking some of the space, which is really cool. The jet dash into mid with the Hunter's yeah. Fury, and then the Killjoy opping on B. So DG gave the op over to Killjoy to op on B. That round was so sick and creative coming out of Fury in the middle of the half. They have so many cool plays like that, little set plays, but they also use skill yeah. so much, which is, makes them such an exciting team. Yeah, it's fantastic, right? Because we saw, like, map number one, they have the ideas. We saw some of that here. But we also saw the fundamentals and their ability to adapt, I think, improve even within this series, which definitely puts them in a fantastic place. But that still was a very, very back-and-forth game. And yeah, and I think it's really impressive as well because uh, the fact that Fury managed to win that game is because Leviathan had so many rounds like that where they had the perfect read, they had these excellent retakes throughout the entirety of that first half, they were very much in control of this match for quite a while, which I think for most people is going to put Furious stocks super high now. Yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm glad that that third map played out the way that it did in a way, just because I think it really displayed the level of quality of both teams yeah. where the, the first two maps were kind of awkward mm. at times and though in a way I guess it's kind of reminiscent of the way that the first map tracked at least with how the rounds just totally flipped on their side yeah. but we were still seeing great stuff for both teams even when it was on the side that they were losing on in this map I mean you could just clearly see that both teams had an excellent idea of how they were approaching the map I mean you were watching just two of the best teams in the region right now. Yeah, it felt like when you watched Ascent, it was a lot of layers to every single thing you watched, right? Like that round we just looked at, there were so many layers throughout the round. The early default to get control, the cat fake, the B pressure, mm -hmm. pressure the post plant setup. There's so many little things that these teams nail on Ascent. And I feel like it's just a matter of time. They're living here together. This is all they're, they're focused on right now is this league. I feel like all of their maps are going to look like that soon. Yeah, it is some incredible progress that we've already seen from Furia. And the players were great across the board. But, of course, we have to pick one to be the MVP. And you folks at home voted on that matter. The results are in leaving Khalil as our MVP. And, Wyatt, this feels very fitting. He was so consistent across all three maps today. Yeah, I mean, he really was. At some point, even on that Ascent game, I looked at the scoreboard. I was like, what the hell? How was he? He's like, he was like so 26 good. and 11 or something. It was because yeah. some of the crazier plays, whatever, it's like Dijazine going, getting the like crazy flick onto the second guy after he gets the first headshot type thing. But he's, Khalil is just so consistent throughout every round, always getting kills. Good for two. I His like. anchoring was so good so on Ascent. Good. It Remember when so he ulted good. back B that round? We, we thought he was about to win that round, just the, the three minutes. Yeah, he almost yeah, got like a three-minute spray down. Yeah, nuts. When people go to his site. He's good for two every time, I feel like. Yeah, and I mean, this goes back even earlier in the day when we were talking about, like, these players have always been good. People forgot how good they were. But I think today, Fury proved that they are finally living up to that potential. But with that, the first day of week two.